There is no Security Council veto. No, it's not true. It is in black and white in the law. Black and white. I want, I want to tear up some of the other dishonest presentations by the Taunister. The Taunister said that if we get rid of the triple lock, we will no longer need to seek the permission of Russia, China, United States, United Kingdom, or anywhere else. Exactly. Very dishonest presentation. Because people would be left with the impression that if Ireland wants to send troops abroad somewhere, we have to go to the Security Council to seek a vote of the Security Council in order to authorise that. Honestly, that's not what happens, is it? What the Triple Lock is about is saying that it, we, we can send troops on peacekeeping missions where they are authorised by the Dáil, by the government, and by the UN. This notion, not through the Security... Wrong. Wrong. And, and that's again, you're engaged in a very dishonest debate because you're not referring to the 2016 Defence Amendment Act, which changed that. This is not about the Security Council. The notion of any country having a veto is a complete and utter red herring. You go to, to the 2006 Act, which is explicitly about dealing with this issue, and it changed it. It said, uh, it said UN approval, which is explicitly not UN, just UN Security Council authorization and UN uh, command, but also, I, I quote from the Act, an international force or body established, mandated, authorised, endorsed, supported, approved, or otherwise sanctioned by a resolution of the Security Council, and this is the important bit, or the General Assembly of the United Nations. There is no Security Council veto. It's in black and white in our current law. And the current arguments that the government is making about getting rid of the triple lock were the arguments that were made for the 2006 Act. This has been dealt with. If, for example, there was a regional peacekeeping mission into Gaza or wherever else, and there was a veto at the UN Security Council, but it was passed by a vote of the General Assembly, by a majority vote of the General Assembly, that would meet the terms of the Triple Lock. That is true, Tarnista. So actually... You're talking about what the Seymour legislation. But you're talking about... No, but, but Tarnista, Tarnista, you are... No, 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 Tarnista. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are talking... You present it as if we rely on a veto and a decision of the Security Council. That, no, it's not true. It is in black and white in the law. Black and white. Not just the UN Security Council, but the UN General Assembly. And so what this is actually about is if there was a regional peacekeeping mission, it could be endorsed by the UN General Assembly by a majority vote, and Irish troops could then participate in it. Do you accept that? So therefore, there is no veto. No, what we're proposing. No, that's in the law now, the 2006 Act, Tornister. It, it is. There is no such thing as a veto. It's an absolute red herring in this debate. The other, the other thing that's dragged in as an example of how we need to be able to do it is the idea of, well, we have to go and get citizens from abroad and we're currently blocked from doing it. Again, that's a red herring. It's not true. In the 2006 Act, there's a series of exceptions set out where the triple lock does not apply. One of them, F, is undertaking humanitarian tasks in response to an actual or potential disaster or emergency. That covers it. So the Tornista is not able to come up with any examples where this triple lock prevents us get sending troops. And that's, that's because the truth is that this is about sending troops on US-led missions, NATO-led missions, into the likes of the... It, it absolutely is. 